All right, so the problem was that I needed to be able to have at least five volts to run the motor that turns the wheels in Kate's car. But the micro bit that I wanted to use to control it can't handle more than 3.3 volts. So I've uh, rigged this up via a transistor. Looking from the front, there are three pins on the transistor, the base, the collector, and the emitter. And so uh, the collector takes the uh, current coming in and the emitter out. The base is controlled via the micro bit. So you put in a little bit of voltage to close the circuit there. More allows, uh, it works like an amplifier, so it allows more current to go from this battery pack from the collector to the emitter. So, a lot of complicated wires, but basically we're going from pin zero over here to the base, which is the first one on the transistor. And then we have the two motors hooked up that are coming out of these holes here, the motors are on the inside, running these wheels. Let's see if I can do that without, see there's one of the motors there. All right, and I've uh, programmed the micro bit so that when you press A, it increases the speed, and when you press B, it decreases it. So we'll see if it works. Keep pressing A until it starts going faster and faster and faster. I had to reverse the polarity on this one to make it go the same direction so it pulls and pulls the B. 